get the warrants, make the arrest. But I don't mind waiting. The look on Park Richardson's face is going to make it all worthwhile. You can't keep me here. I'm an American citizen. I demand to speak to someone with the U.S. Embassy. Like, pronto. This is just, this is all just a big mistake. A misunderstanding of the French-English thing you guys have. Park Richardson, remember me? At your trial, I told you should try a new line of work. This one has too many occupational hazards. Listen, no matter what they think I've done here, it happened in Canada. So, it's none of your business. Except your victims are in the U.S. and you use the U.S. mail to get to them. That makes it my business. Look, this is all just a big mistake. I just came to help a friend of mine start up a small company. None of this is even in my name. We're extraditing you to the U.S. to face mail fraud charges. Well, plenty of time to sort it all out. About 10 years. Let's go, Park. Yeah, see you in court. Thanks to our partnerships with Canada, Park Richardson is now serving a 10-year sentence for mail fraud. Effective law enforcement within the U.S. has driven these criminals across borders in an effort to hide their crimes. While U.S.-Canadian cross-border task forces are helping to stop these crimes, prevention is still the best medicine. Consumers should be aware that there's an increasing trend for fraud schemes to operate outside the U.S. Modern travel, communications, and the internet make it even easier for these crooks to prey on you. You can help protect yourself with some simple steps. One, if an offer seems too good to be true, it probably is. Beware of anything that promises large sums of money, sweepstakes, or lottery winnings in exchange for your advance payment, donation, or investment. Two, don't allow yourself to be pressured into making a decision. Consult with your financial advisor, Better Business Bureau, family member, or trusted friend, or your Consumer Protection Bureau before deciding to act. Three, remember that legitimate businesses will never object to you asking questions. They're also happy to provide references. Beware of anyone who tries to conceal their mailing address, telephone number, or evades questions about their operations. Four, be aware that if you respond to even one of these offers, your name will likely be added to a mooch list by these criminals. These are mailing lists similar to those used by legitimate businesses that track people who've fallen for these scams in the past. They're bought and sold as part of these underground enterprises. Five, be cautious if a company insists on using a commercial wire transfer service to send money. It's often impossible to verify the actual destination where the money will be picked up making the receiver of the money difficult to trace. Always pay by credit card or postal money order. And if you think you've been the victim of fraud, you need to report it. These reports are vital in helping to track down these criminal operations, especially if they're operating outside the United States. You can contact your local postal inspector in the phone book or on our website at usps.com slash postal inspectors. Cross-border fraud can be a world of trouble for its victims. Make sure that you're not one of them. The United States Postal Inspection Service would like to recognize our partners in law enforcement for their efforts in combating cross-border frauds. These include Project Colt in Montreal, the Toronto Strategic Partnership, Project mTOR in Vancouver, the Alberta Partnership Against Cross-Border Fraud in Calgary. The Vancouver Strategic Alliance. And the Atlantic Partnership in Halifax. These task forces target criminals in Canada who operate fraudulent foreign lotteries, price promotions, sweepstakes, advance payment loans, credit card and internet scams. The Phone Busters National Call Center assists these partnerships in investigating and prosecuting criminals who commit cross-border and telemarketing fraud. Our ability to protect U.S. consumers is greatly enhanced by these partnerships, and we are grateful for their cooperation.